We're going to talk about John Jones. We're not going to make fun or take too many punches at Uncle until the end. We are going to read some of your comments from Uncle's channel. And then I have another little treat or I'm going to ask if you remember something towards the end there. So for those of you who were lazy, you could just fast forward right to the end, which reminds me of a cool little story, but I'm not going to go there right now because John Jones is the topic. So here we go. If you're having a great day, it's because you are an MMA fan. We've all wanted the news from John Jones. And secretly, deep inside of us, we all want this match between Alex Pajera and Johnny Bones Jones. Now, Alex Pajera, I love his last name, the way it rolls off the tongue. Um, and, you know, he has that punch out power that's just crazy. But I feel like we need to compress his name a little. We need to either drop the Pajera and just call him Alex, which I feel a little bit more, which is a little bit more sincere, you know, like it's a, I feel like it's just a little bit more endearing if you would. Now, but Pajera has a nice sound, but there's other guys that are named Pajera. Sure, there's other guys that are named Alex, but if you really think of it, there's really only one. I am a very genuine, endearing type person, so I'm going to compress that to Alex. So, Alex versus Jones. That is sort of the topic of the day. We need to go back a little bit. Just go back a little bit, which I think backwards that is that way for you guys. But let's just think in our minds about what Uncle Chell, who we all love, said about Jones. He said, if you ever have John Jones on top of you, you come up a different man. Like, seriously? Like, how big of a statement is that coming from the undisputed, undefeated, never lost a round. I mean, seriously, right? That's a big statement because for as much as we all want to poke fun at Uncle, 99.8% of the people on the planet don't have a chance, right? Now, let's address the Stipe issue really quickly. I do think he had made a great point about people could be overlooking Stipe, uh, including Jones. Uh, I don't think that's a foregone gone conclusion. However, I do think that, that in a fight, John Jones has that one, right? I think he has that one. Um, Stipe could pull it off. There's a, there's a, there's a chance, but like Jones is going to be the favorite over at Jimmy two times. Um, now we'll take a quick moment because it's a little bit of my fiduciary duty to my sponsors is only one It's lettucehands.org. I did have someone in the comments mention that he's going to order three today. Those did come through. My Venmo balance is usually a zero. It is more today, so that is good. Uh, and thank you guys for staying and bearing through this. I actually like the sheets. They're really nice. I think my painting is pretty nice. I did this myself. I'm kind of proud of it. I also did lettucehands.org myself. We're going to go to the comments real quick. It's not a social experiment. It's just me simply reading these guys' comments on Uncle Chell's video. Same video I just put on Chell, okay? That's what I'm doing. I just steal his stuff. It's the easiest way to do this. So we have Chukwita683 saying, it's the top comment, by the way. It's got six of these. I'm not too sure why it's the top one with only six. Maybe you, bunch of shoes out there, could tell me. I'm not sure how the internet works. 
And I will try to read it in a husky voice like some of you ask me to do. Tom, turn down Alex to headline UFC 300 based on schoolyard rules. Based on the schoolyard rules, Alex is the clear, he's the clear number one contender. Heavyweight, GOAT, Jones versus GOAT for the belt would be legendary. Now that's in a husky voice. I feel like it'd be better in a uh, in my natural voice or a little higher pitched voice, but that it was what he said, and I agree. For the most part, we agree. We'll move on. Uh, next one is from the Accursed Hawk. Bruh, I get you want to be the guy with the different mindset of the things, but how the TF, how the TF did you give a 50 45 to Pontan Joey? Now, this is my problem, okay? I love the comments. You guys aren't in there nearly, nearly enough. But for those of you who know what's going on, please tell the other ones so they'll have a clue and stop being a shoe. Now, the big question of the evening, we'll wrap this up. Thank you for bearing so long. You can go to lettucehands.org if you want to. I'm proud of it. I mean, I made it in like, it took, it took a long time. It was about three and a half minutes, maybe 3.45. It might have been four minutes, but it definitely was not ever over 18 minutes. So the big question of the evening is, this will require you, and I do, I'm actually sort of begging you a little because when I'm in this position, I feel like there was that thing back when we were kids when it was like, you go, you interlace your hands or something, and you're like, that's the the church, and uh, there's the steeple, uh, you know, steeple, open the doors and see all the people. Was Chell, Uncle Chell P. Sun in, was he wearing a toupee? in his recent videos? It's a simple question. Get in the comments. Thank you. Have a, have a pleasant day. I need to push this button in order to stop the video.